Hello, my name is Manisha Lat Gupta and I'm the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. I'm back here again with a new video within our Sustainable House series featuring specifically the use of lime as a construction material. Now, isn't it amazing that there are so many construction materials available, but the primary binder that comes to our mind is cement. This material has become so all pervasive that we have closed ourselves to the use of any other options. Lime is essentially used as a binder in construction. So for example, other binders include cement or clay. Their role is to bind aggregates and create mixes that can then be used for addition of blocks as say a lime concrete, a lime plaster, a lime mortar, an internal or an external plaster. Why is lime considered to be better than cement? when the starting raw material for both products is limestone. Why is lime considered to be pure and sustainable and cement considered to be toxic and non-recyclable? Lime is a sustainable material because the chemical transformation that it undergoes is a circular loop. We, we start out by mining limestone from nature, which is essentially calcium carbonate. We then burn this calcium carbonate to create, release carbon dioxide and create a material called quicklime, which is calcium oxide. The next step of transformation is that this quicklime is then immersed in water, a process that's known as slaking. This creates a highly exothermic reaction and converts the material into calcium hydroxide. This calcium hydroxide you then bring to your side, quite uh, usually you would mix it with sand or other aggregates, coarser aggregates perhaps, finer aggregates, and then you'd apply it in your building, on the wall, on the floor, wherever, and you'd allow it to set. And this setting is basically the reabsorption of the carbon dioxide that was earlier released in its manufacture so that calcium hydroxide, the fat lime putty, absorbs this carbon dioxide and becomes calcium carbonate. Again, sitting in your walls, this right here is calcium carbonate. And therefore, it is now back to limestone, a completely non-toxic material. And this is how the lime cycle is a closed loop. While quick lime is made by heating limestone to a temperature of about 800 to 900 degrees Celsius, cement is made by heating a mixture of quick lime, clay and coal to a temperature of about 1500 to 1600 degrees. The end result of the cement process is something called clinker, which is not calcium oxide but a complex compound instead. These compounds are what give us the hydraulic set. That why does cement, when it's wet, just set in your bag or set on the floor, right? So these compounds are not reversible back to calcium carbonate. When they set in your wall or in your floor, they create complex compounds that do not break down back into calcium carbonate. And then these compounds also have a shorter life. They sit in landfills and create toxicity. The chemical transformation is not circular. Another aspect of lime, which makes it highly sustainable, as well, especially as compared to cement, is that lime buildings are very easy to repair unlike cement buildings, which are prohibitively expensive to repair and almost impossible to repair after a point. Lime buildings are easy to repair because new lime bonds with old lime very easily over time. In the lime time scale, even a 100 or a 150 year old lime is considered very young. And therefore, if I had this old building, and I needed to patch repair some plaster because let's say there's been settlement and, and a bit has fallen off, 
I can literally take off that little section of lime plaster, the old one. I might even crumble it up. I'll add a little bit of fresh lime and repair my patch. This is a really practical illustration of lime's recyclability and also the fact that there is so much life in this material. Its chemical transformation is not complete till the end of its life. Its strength is increasing with every passing day. 500 year old lime will be even stronger than 100 year old lime, even stronger than say a fresh lime. This of course is completely antithesis to cement where its peak strength is on day 28 and every passing day from day 29, it's getting weaker and weaker till the end of its life at 30, 40, 50, 60 years, depending on the craftsmanship quality. After learning so much about lime, we were convinced that we wanted to use lime as the primary binder in our sustainable house project. While we did use cement in small quantities in some parts of our sustainable house, our primary binder was lime, which we used as mortar, as surface finishes, as lime wash, and as polished lime plasters. I hope this series on lime will give you some inspiration to include lime in one form or the other in constructing your own building.